Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Stack. And today our topic is how to kill any applications with UI path. Before moving to our topics, if not subscribe the channel, please subscribe, share, and like the video. And if you have any doubts, please mention a comment section. In this video, we are seeing two different ways to build any applications. So first one is process kill. So take that I to the process the process. So take this I to the drag and drop. Once you see that and go to the properties and we can see it. So we need to give the process and what is the process mean. So here my process is I want to kill the Excel application. So and make that Excel dot exe. And the process name is Excel. Okay, so here the point is how I can get this excel.exe for that. We need to go to the task manager, open this task manager, and we can see this here. Now, let me open the Excel application. Once I open that Excel application, and we can see in the top here, excel.exe. We can see this. So, like that, we will get this application names. So, now I'm running this program. So, it will kill that Excel application. Suggest so it's kill that Excel application. So we just saw that we can kill one application at one time. But if I want to kill multiple applications, so how can we achieve that? For that, we need to take one array. So I'm taking one as an activity. In that as an activity, I will give the list of what I want to kill applications. I'll make it as temp array. In the temporary, I will pass some applications here. So here, what I will take, I will need Excel. After that, Excel dot exe. So this is the one array and Notepad with delimited by its colon here. I take it. Notepad dot exe. So now I declare that I want to build two applications. Okay, I declare that. So this error because we need to modify the variable type. So now the variable type is array of string. Just I change that and the error will occur separate. After that, I need to take that for each. With the help of only for each we can take. So what I need to declare here, current item already is available in the in. We need to give the temp array. So I just pass that array. <clears throat> After that in body, we need to just pass this field process. So here I want to kill the first of all Excel and next one is Notepad. So how I will take now? So I need to split that array. So here split. After that, I want the current item and here my delimiter is colon. So you can see this here, the colon. Okay, after that, I want to here make it as one because Excel is zero and ex, uh, Excel dot exe is the one. So every time it starts index zero and one. So and similar way downside, what we need to give, we need to give zero. Okay. Now let me open this Excel application and Notepad as well. Now we'll go to debug step into. We'll try to understand how it will work exactly. So first of all, what we declare temporary. So in this temporary, we have stored this Excel dot exe and Notepad Notepad dot exe. Now it will enter into the for loop. So in the for loop, first of all, we'll see current item. So in this current item, what it will store Excel. So after that, what did we split that function? So split of zero. In this zero, what we have Excel. So the Excel is passed here, the process name, and one is for Excel.exe. We kill the process. So now both are satisfied. If I run, it will kill the first of all Excel application. It's scaled. And the next application is Notepad. So it will kill that Notepad. So like it, we can achieve uh, kill multiple applications. So if I want uh, some more applications, just go and edit this, and we can add Chrome, whatever it may be you want. As per the requirements, we can add that and delete as well. So this is a way to approach to kill multiple applications. Now we are moving to this method two. For method two, what we want to know? So already I created one. Um, okay, let me create one uh, file. 
So I'm creating right now notepad. So I'm just open that notepad. In this notepad, I will make it as task key forward slash and EIM. So I want to kill that Excel.exe. This is the one application. So after that, I want to kill the another application, which is called notepad. So once this is done, we can save this file as a bat extension. So I make it a save as and task to kill dot bat. I'm saving in this folder itself. So I make this file as dot bat. So if it is the extension should be the bat, then only we can able to achieve this. So if it is not in the bat format, then it won't work. So I created the bat file. So it's a batch file. So which kill all the applications. So if you want to edit, just go and edit this. And you want add another one, you can just take that name of the applications and you can add downside of this file. So now I go back to the UI path again. And here I take one activity. Process start or start process. I will make the start process. So we can see this start process. So drag and drop that start process and we can give the selected file. So here my file is dot task kill dot be extension file and take that. So just that's it. If I run that, it will kill all the applications. So notepad, I make it two applications. Just I will run this. So I will make it here a debug point. Uh, just it will start or stop at this point. I'm just click on that continue. It will open it will open some CMD command prompt and it kill the applications. You were seeing like this just stop this box. Something happened in that bad file. So just I'm stopping this bot and going back to that file. OK, so just I rename the file of here. Just I'll make it as task killer. And I will select a file again. So just saving that file and rerunning that. Let me open that Excel and Notepad as well. So I run this one. So it's done. So now it's killed that applications. So I will tell you what's the reason behind on this. So just open this again. And we can see this name is a starting task kill. So don't give the name as a task field. So if you're giving the task skill, it won't work properly because it's a kind of keyword to that. I hope uh, you understand this one. Please try and uh, if you have any doubts, make it on comment section. We'll try to help you. Adding one more point. So right now I don't have any applications with the name of uh, Excel and uh, Notepad. So if I run this one, what will happen now? It will run, but it won't throw any errors because if it is open, then only it will uh, work. If it is not open, it won't, not a problem. So bot is run. So it won't get, it won't throw any errors. If it is application is open, then only it will kill that applications. If it is not in open, just run that and it won't uh, affect any way and it won't throw the any errors.